Molly Gold with Easy Closets Total Home Tour and today I'm really excited to be with Vera Sweeney of Lady in the Blog. Vera, thank you so much for having us to your home. Thank you so much for coming to my home and for doing everything that you did. Yes. It's simply <laughs> amazing. Well, Vera had a really interesting challenge on her hands and I'd love for you to tell everybody a little bit about your basement. You're well known as a fashion blogger, as just the gal that knows what the latest next trend is on all things shopping and just life in general in so many ways. So I would think that your basement might kind of be one of those really ha happening spots, but not so much, huh? Well, I feel like this is a confessional video <laughs> because I am about to admit something, some really dirty little horrific secret. My basement was a complete disaster and it was a place that people would come over and I would lock it because it was like the people under the stairs. Mm -hmm. No one wanted to go down there. <laughs> no one needed to see what was happening down there. It was just chaos and you know the one thing that my husband and I kept saying over and over again was we need a place for everything and everything needs its place and the way that we were living before it wasn't like that we had big bins and everything was just being thrown into the bins and there was just no order in our life we had literally no order so when we decided to do this project we said we wanted to come up with a a scenario or just a program for our family where this is the Lego bin, this is the Barbie bin, this is the bin for the, you know, the cars and so on and so forth. So when it was time to finally clean up, there was no excuses. You know where that Lego goes, honey. It goes in the Lego bin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I felt like that would be easier for my children to understand because before it was just this dumping ground and then everything would get lost. But now, what we hoped would happen would be board games go with the board games, and, so, and, and, and then the next day, everything is found again. So here's what's interesting. Um, as I listen to you say that, is I'm thinking, how many families go through this where you've got this wide open shared space? And of course, the first thing you think of is toys, the Lego pieces, the Barbies. But really, for the long haul, Right. You're trying to work with found space in your home. This in, this basement's huge. You've got so much space to work with. And one day, there won't be Legos and Barbies and all those things. Right. So in terms of looking at the solution, were you trying to find a way to transform your play and family space that would grow with your kids over time? Absolutely. I mean, once my children transition out of the board games and whatnot, I mean, we know as children get older, they get digital. So they'll be turning more to iPads and iPods and video games and whatnot. Um, you know, we did set up a media center, so mm -hmm. we, we'll, we can walk through that. But for me and my husband moving forward when our children get older, I thought um, the, the, sp the storage that we tied into our basement can be used for bedding, because I don't really have any, I don't have a linen closet, which is so funny to hear for the rest of the country, I'm mm -hmm. sure, but, you know, we don't have big places to put extra bedding and whatnot and extra pillows, and I thought that this can also, these, these great big cabinets and oversized drawers can be used for my extra stuff upstairs that I am literally just stuffing in wherever I can fit it in, in our bedrooms. So eventually when this isn't for toys, I will take it back and I will take ownership <laughs> of it mama's for space. mama's space <laughs> right but I mean I, I have a newborn so this is quite a ways sure. ahead because of you know he he sort of brought me back to to baby world but um, you know for the time being I mean we have a good 12 13 years usage of this to be a kids a kid center station mm -hmm. and we're gonna get so much use out of it now, what I really like about that is that kid center station component because you've got the family room element down here, even yes. though you have family room space upstairs. So this can be a social space where you and your husband could come with friends. Yes. If you have guests over, you can come down here. And then, of course, if you do have guests stay, they might be down here in they, the basement. They, they do stay down here. We. My, when my mother sleeps over, she sleeps over to babysit. This is where she stays, and you know, it was sort of like, good luck. Yeah. You know, we would just throw her down there and be like, hope you make it out alive in the morning. It was like the haunted game show, and maybe you'll make it out. But but now it's it suddenly became an inviting. It looks like a home, and it wasn't part of our home before, and now it is. And that, that is a very big difference. I mean, I cannot tell you enough how my husband and I just sit here, and we look at this this build the building that we put in this wall, and we're like, this just changed our lives. And it's it sounds so dramatic. I know that sounds mm -hmm. very dramatic, but we can now use this as 
as a hosting event, like we mm -hmm. have, we have a lot of people over for dinner parties and everything. This was always off limits, and now we can host down here. Our our children can host down here. They're going to be tweens soon. They're going to want to have parties of their own. Mm -hmm. This can be a nice little area that they're not upstairs with me and my husband when we're watching television. No, they're down here and they're in their little teen area and they're doing their thing down here. And it's it's just became our our house just doubled in size is what just that. happened. And that's the versatility of it being both functional storage, long term yes. storage. It gives you the opportunity for family storage, media storage. Yes. It's all very movable. And exactly aesthetically, how it's just so very inviting. Like it makes you want to sit here. It makes you want to look at it. It makes you want to almost interact with it and see what's going on and what do you have in this corner and look at this picture frame. Whereas before, it was just a Tupperware bin <laughs> a mm -hmm. cemetery. I don't even know how else to describe it. It was it was horrific, but now it's just become literally part of a new, we have like a new home down here.